Looking for some twin fin fun? Let's talk about the Hypto Crypto Twin from Hidden Shapes. Hi guys, Chris from Stoke for Travel here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're going to be talking about the Hypto Crypto Twin by Hayden Shapes, aka the HK Twin. Now this is the follow-up from the blockbuster uh, surfboard, the Hypto Crypto, which is one of the most popular surfboard shapes ever created. Uh, today we're going to be talking about it through this much anticipated follow-up. We're going to talk about the constructions it's available in, uh, how it differs from the original, what it's like to surf, and of course whether you should be adding it to your quiver. So yeah, let's jump straight in. Now first off, let's talk about how the Hypto Crypto Twin differs from the original. And if you've checked out my full review of the Hypto Crypto Twin, you'll know that it wasn't really a board that I really gelled with. I know thousands of people all over the world absolutely froth on the original Hypto Crypto, but for me, it just didn't quite live up to the hype. That being said though, I was pretty keen to test out the HK Twin, decided to put my bias aside and went in with fresh eyes. So for this review, I have put all that aside and I went in giving it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, so let's talk through what kind of Hayden Shapes has changed uh, from the original to the HK Twin. And the first off the thing you'll notice is obviously they've moved from the pintail of the original Hypto Crypto to kind of the swallow fish tail of the HK Twin. Uh, they've also pulled in that nose a bit, so like narrowed the entry point. Um, they've gone for longer straighter rail lines, which carries speed really well. Again, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later about how the board actually surfs. And there's a little bit of extra V in the tail as well. And that's mainly because you've moved from a five fin or a thruster setup to that twin fin setup. And also the Y point's been moved a little bit further forward. So you've got a little bit more foam under your chest. Um, in terms of dimensions, the HK twin is pretty similar to the original Hypto Crypto. And you can ride it in the same size and volume as well. So how do these changes correlate to how the board actually surfs? Well, even though it's called the Hypto Crypto Twin, I actually think it's quite a different board in obviously the outline and the characteristics of the board, but the key components that made the Hypto Crypto such a success have also been carried through into the HK Twin. Uh, and by the characteristics, I mean the fact it's super easy to paddle, uh, it's plenty of volume, especially underneath your chest, so it's super forgiving. Um, and because of that extra volume, you can ride it a little bit shorter. So it's great for people kind of progressing from say like a mini mal or a mid length into their first kind of short board, or in this case, first twin fin as well. Um, and that obviously results in a high wave count and overall a really, really fun board to ride. So yeah, those are the characteristics and the uh, changes from the Hypto Crypto to the Hypto Crypto Twin. So what level of surfer is the Hypto Crypto Twin aimed at? Well, it's definitely an intermediate to an advanced surfer board. Um, if you are a beginner surfer, I'd definitely take this off the table. It's not going to be the right first surfboard for you. Uh, check out the link in the description below for my full beginner surfboard guide, and that should definitely help you out. If you are an intermediate surfer though, this is going to be a great twin fin board for your quiver. It's fast, it's stable, and it's really fun. And it's going to be a great introduction into the world of twin fin surfboards. Uh, if you already own a Hypto Crypto as well, again, it's a great step in the evolution of your surfing. It's going to sit alongside the original Hypto in your quiver, but it's going to still keep those core characteristics you love about the Hypto Crypto original. Uh, for advanced surfers, you're going to absolutely froth on the versatility of the board. It's going to handle everything from waist high to well overhead and punchy conditions as well, as well as being a really fun summer board for those kind of smaller, mushier days too, especially with the drive off those twin keel fins. So yeah, intermediate to advanced surfers are all going to love the Hypto Crypto Twin. So when it comes to board breakdown and dimensions, Hayden recommends running the Hypto Crypto Twin at the same size as the original Hypto Crypto. That's because the volume and the sizing is pretty similar. Uh, the Hypto Crypto Twin comes in a, from a 5.0 model at 21.5 liters, right through to a 7.0 model, which comes in at a whopping 60.2 liters. So there's a huge variety of sizes to choose from. You can really narrow it in depending on your weight, height, volume of choice, and of course your ability in the water as well. Uh, for me, I opted for the 510, which comes in at 34.1 liters. Um, and that's because I've actually slimmed down a little bit myself. I'm now 185 centimeters and 80 kilos. Uh, so I've dropped down the size of my boards a little bit. 
That being said though, I still add on kind of an extra liter or two compared to most people because I do like that little bit of extra foam underneath me, um, especially for those smaller mushier conditions, which is what I originally thought I'd be running the HK Twin in most of all. So yeah, huge variety of size to choose from and that's the breakdown of the Hipto Crypto Twin. If you're thinking about getting a Hypto Crypto Twin, you've also got to take the construction into account as well. So the Hypto Crypto Twin comes in three constructions. That's PU, so standard fiberglass board, PE or epoxy, and of course Hayden Shapes' patented Future Flex technology. Uh, for me, for my review model, I decided to go for the standard PU board, um, and that mainly comes down to pricing. Uh, so the PU board is 50 bucks Aussie less than the epoxy version, and $200 less than the Future Flex version. So there's quite a jump between all three models. Uh, you can also get one of the tinted versions of the Hypto Crypto Twin, uh, but you need to add an extra 70 Aussie dollars into the pricing for that as well. Personally for me, having surfed the Hypto Crypto Twin in PU for the last kind of few weeks, I'm actually stoked on the PU. There's, I don't really feel like I'd wanna to upgrade to the epoxy on this one or the Future Flex as well. I don't feel like I'd take full advantage of the Future Flex technology in this board. But if you are looking at riding the Hypto Crypto Twin in kind of bigger waves and more punchy waves, then the Future Flex might be a solid option for you. But for me, the PU Hypto Crypto, perfect. Now, when it comes to fin configuration, obviously the Hypto Crypto Twin is a dedicated twin fin surfboard and it's available both SCS2 and Futures fins. Uh, for me, it's Futures fins all the way and they recommend the Futures K2 keel fin model. Uh, for me though, I've been testing the Hypto Crypto Twin using the Project Bank Classic Keel. It's a very similar template, uh, plenty of drive and also heaps of release. Um, if you do wanna grab yourself a set of those fins, uh, use the code STOKE for travel and grab 15% off at project blank on your full order, which also includes wetsuits as well, so grab yourself a bit of a bargain. Uh, for me though, those fins have worked perfectly in the Hypto Crypto Twin, um, and even though I've been surfing a lot of twins recently, uh, they mainly been upright pivot twins, so this uh, kind of move towards a keel fin has been a bit of an experience for me and a bit of a learning curve, uh, but I find that I've really enjoyed the experience of surfing a keel fin twin. Uh, lots of drive, I still have plenty of release in my turns, and it's also worked in a huge variety of conditions from grovelly waves right through to punchy, more hollow conditions. So yeah, it's a good all round setup for the Hypto Crypto Twin. So what kind of waves does the Hypto Crypto Twin really work in? Uh, now it's a really versatile board in the fact it runs from anything from two to eight foot. Um, the first few sessions I had on the Hypto Crypto Twin were super desperado. Like I got a freshie, I'd waxed it up and I just wanted to get in the water and give it a test. Um, and it was really desperate kind of surfing, kind of like that knee to thigh high range. Uh, but I was actually really surprised how well this board groveled. Uh, paddled out, just expecting, you know, just get it wet, feel how it felt underneath me. And I was really surprised at kind of how easy it locked into waves, the paddle power, and how well it coasted through those kind of flatter, mushier sections with those really nice drivey keel fins set up. Uh, for, so for me, the Hypno Crypt Twin is actually a really nice, fun summer grovelly board. Um, since then, we've also had a few couple of really good pulses as well up here in Byron, and I've been able to test out the HK Twin in some bigger, punchier conditions. And I'm stoked to say it's really held its own throughout the whole variety of waves, uh, whether it's kind of fatter, mushier roll-ins where you can use those keel fins to really get drive and speed on your takeoff, right through to hollower conditions where that kind of pulled in nose, that extra V through the tail, and of course that swallowtail really lock in and make the board feel super stable under your feet. Uh, so with that in mind, it's a really versatile part of your quiver that you're going to be grabbing for kind of cruisy fish sessions uh, right through the spectrum. So if you're kind of intermediate looking for kind of some summer fun, it's going to suit that really well. If you're more an experienced surfer looking to kind of get some cheeky beach break barrels, it's also going to handle that really well as well. So what are my final thoughts on the Hypto Crypto Twin and can I recommend it? Well, actually, the Hypto Crypto Twin has caught me really off guard. And even though I didn't really gel with the original Hypto Crypto, the HK Twin has been super fun and I'm absolutely frothing on it. Uh, it's one of those great boards for high wave count, easy paddle power, a huge variety of conditions, and of course, some great summer fun as well. I also feel the fact that it works for both intermediate and advanced surfers is another great plus for this board. So whether you're kind of just looking for that first introduction into twin fin surfing, it's great for that. Or if you're an advanced surfer looking for a twin fin that can handle those bigger punchy conditions, it's also a great go-to for that as well. 
Um, it's also a great board for you to up your quiver in terms of if you're already surfing the original Hypto Crypto, it sits really nicely alongside that. So if you're a current Hypto user, you're gonna love the HK Twin as well. Uh, for me, for a lot of review boards, I buy them, surf them for a few months, review them, and then sell them on. So I've got more space in my house for more review boards. Uh, but the Hypto Crypto Twin, I'm actually going to keep it. It's now a staple of my quiver. And I find it's my go-to board whether I'm reviewing it or just looking for a super fun surf. It's just one of those great boards with high wave count and great fun factor. And at the end of the day, that's what most surfers are looking for. If a board is fun to ride and you can surf it in a huge variety of conditions, it ticks all the boxes for a great surf session. And every single session I've had on this board, I've left with a smile on my face. So yeah, I can definitely recommend the HK Twin. And there you have it, guys. That's my full review of the Hypto Crypto Twin by Hayden Shakes. If you'd like to check out more of my surfboard reviews, guides, and more, make sure you check out the links in the description below. And of course, check out the rest of my YouTube channel too. And of course, if you have any questions about the HK Twin, make sure you drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this week, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Yoo!